and we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create a shadow. So we've got this guy walking here. I copy this clip, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And the top one is selected. I go to Cutout, use the Auto Cutout function. It's going to get processed. And once it's done, we have a cutout of the guy. Let me make the bottom one visible again. I'm still on the top one and I use the rotate function two times. After we position this, you can see right here, it loses it a little bit. So we have to animate the position. But first, let's create the shadow. Again, I'm on the top clip. Go to adjustments, go down with saturation. I also go down with brightness, highlight and shadows and up with contrast. Finally, I go to video basic, blend, open the drop down and go down with the opacity right here. So this adjusts intensity of the shadow. And as I said, now we'll have to take care of the position. Depending on the clip that you've got, that's more or less work. Let me go to the start. I'm still on the video basic, find the position, start the animation by clicking on add keyframe. And then I use the right arrow keys. And right here, it loses it. I just left click drag on this preview window and reposition that. This creates a new keyframe. Now I have to go through this with the right arrow keys and reposition this step by step. As I've said, this can take a little bit more work or less work depending on the clip that you've got. And as always, the more time you put in, the better results will look. But I think this result is quite fine. Let me roll the clip. And I think this looks like natural shadow. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.